right, so today guys, we are going to organize our laundry tiny closet. Tiniest closet you're ever gonna see. But first, some hot chocolate. So today, I plan on getting this closet together, making it look organized. So we're gonna see how this goes today. It's been a long time coming for this video, okay? This is my Keurig here, my little coffee station that I love. And we're gonna start to plan out this closet. All right guys, so today I am going to give you guys a closet makeover. I'm gonna show you what the closet looks like now and we will go through the process of making it over. So I have lived at this place for about a year, almost, um, at the end of this month and I have been trying to figure out closet solutions because I have a tiny laundry closet. When you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you know somebody else who has a smaller laundry closet, I would love to meet them because I don't think it could get any smaller than this. So without further ado, we're gonna get into this closet. So this is the laundry closet, voila. We're gonna push this open some and I have a Samsung washer and dryer. I actually like this washer and dryer. Loving the settings. I will list it in the description below so you guys know about this washer and dryer. Because I don't iron anymore because I have this washer and dryer. I just pop it in here and voila, wrinkles be gone. Okay, so as you see here, this is what I'm talking about, tiny. I have no room for anything in here. You see, no room for anything, but we are going to change that today. So we're gonna go over what I am trying to do. If you look here, so this is all the space I have at the bottom. I have no vertical room here, but that is gonna be a thing of the past today. All right, so we're just gonna close this here. And we are going to get into what I am trying to put in this closet. And it looks like a lot right now. So I purchased a Lazy Susan for some items. I purchased these from Michaels. I have some dryer balls. I have this here laundry detergent dispenser. I have these here to go on top of mason jars. These are Oxy machine wash cleaners. I haven't used them yet, but we will be trying that as well. These are the mason jars that I had, and these are spray bottles. I'm not gonna use all of them there, but I'm gonna use a couple. This is not supposed to be here, but it's making its guest appearance, right? So since I can't have like a laundry room that has where I can put like pictures and really, really decorate it. I bought these decals to go on the washer and on the dryer to tie into my colors in my living room and in my kitchen. Also, when the gentleman put together my washer and dryer, they left items and I just had them sitting on top of the washer and dryer but that's no more. So this is the bucket I would be housing, the tin I would be housing things in. I had gotten that from Marshalls. I know you're asking me, Crystal, how are you gonna get all this stuff in there? Don't worry, don't worry. So this used to be in my closet and now I'm taking it out. Don't, don't hold it against me. I know it looks crazy, but my mom and I, coupon and we have an abundance of whatever. I have stopped because I have nowhere to put this stuff. So this stuff has been sitting in the closet for a while and I would just have to go inside the closet in my room in order to get more detergent to wash clothes, whatever have you. That's the thing of the past today. So I purchased this. It doesn't come this long. I had to attach two together. So I had first purchased, um, I believe it was five shelves. 
I purchased five shells and I was like, ah, I didn't like the way it looked. It, I wanted it to be the same height as the washer and dryer. So I purchased the five and then I purchased the three. So I didn't put all the pieces on because it was gonna be taller than I wanted it to be. I didn't want it to be too long. So I just have seven shells here and it's the perfect length for what I needed it to be. All right, also I purchased two of these. These are like pop out type of laundry baskets. So when I am folding clothes, I can put my son's clothes in one and my clothes in the other. All right, so guys, I am through talking, okay? Cause I know you're tired of hearing me. All right, clutter blugs, let's get into it. So these bamboo tops I purchased for these jars just to add a little bit of pizzazz to it. Okay, my scent booster beads are gonna go in here. No. We're gonna move this over as well. I know it looks a mess and it's giving me anxiety myself. We're gonna open this so we're putting some things in here. So first we are going to put this on top of the dryer. So we're gonna put our scent booster beads in here. Guys, until we get through this, the anxiety is at an all time high. I'm just gonna let you know. Probably should open this one first. But it wouldn't be like crystal. Oh. <laughs> All right. Those smell good. So these are the Gain Fireworks Scent Booster Beads. And it is an original. I like the smell of this. I mean, usually Gain smells really good. Put that trash in there like that. Put that. I also keep a mason jar with my sewing items. I used to have a bag and let me just say the bag is done. I had to put the bag to rest. All right, so I picked up some labels. These labels I purchased from Amazon so that we can see what we have. I bought them in white and clearly <laughs> they're gonna be hard to see, but look at God. Oh, that looks amazing. It is so, so nice to see how things can transform before your eyes, right? All right, so we have most of our spots labeled here. Let's see if maybe we can find a miscellaneous or something. Because for right now, whatever it is that'll go here will be miscellaneous. All right, so this last one here, we'll just put this in that so that we can have them all labeled dry rolls, miscellaneous. And we'll put this in that here. So we'll have two extras. If we put anything here, we'll have the extras. Okay, let's just change this lid. that the way it looks there okay we are going to put this here all right so I'm taking that once it gets a little weight on it it'll be fine all right so let's label our we're gonna put these away first have our sewing jar I think that looks so ridiculously cute. 
All right, now for these, pull out our handy dandy scissors and we are going to cut these off. I really thought these would be a good asset to have. So what I intend to put in here, we're gonna put, <laughs> every time I look at this, I'm like, all right, so we're gonna put bleach. So we have one for bleach, one for detergent, Turn it on the back here. One for detergent. And then we're going to have one for fabric softener. And I know you're thinking like, why are you putting it in those containers? One, it's cute. But the second reason, there is a reason. We'll get into it in a minute. Just bear with me because I am trying to get this label on as nicely as possible. All right, last time. Doesn't matter. Because I want it to be able to stick. Because we're losing our adhesive back here. All right, so it's not going to be the best. That's all right. It's the best that we can get. It looks atrocious to me, but it's the best that we can get. So I need to cut it and then put fabric and then softener. Let's see if that works. Bam. All right, softener and then fabric. I'm about this improvised life. All right. Okay, I don't have to put anything. I know what's in there. Okay. And that lazy Susan, we might have to put some pods because I have a whole bunch. We might have to put some. I want to keep this extra one just in case one of the shelves breaks. So for now, I'm just going to put it at the bottom. So I have a set of black ones as well. We purchased the wrong set in the beginning. I was like, oh, I didn't want black. And they come through in a clutch because since our tin is white, we're going to put it on here. So we're going to label this hardware. And we are going to take the price tag off. Thank you, Marshall. All right, so when I bought the washer and dryer, the gentleman came, and there were some things that they didn't use. So I don't know if they'll need them later on. So I will keep them, but I will house them where they're not an being an eyesore to me. Voila. Thought we weren't gonna make it, but we did. I have labeled everything, I think so. We're just gonna put these away. All right, so now we're gonna put this back in here. My goodness, that looks so clean. Let's go over what we have so far all right so at the top here we have our lazy susan our laundry little care bags cleaning our laundry this and that and back to our dryer bowl i really like how i can see everything from there all right so far we're doing good Costco for $8.99. It's a steal. Like I, I felt like like I just walked out of there with it. I'm like, what? $8.99? It's huge. I have this for the rest of my life. So I'll just put that to the side there. Oh. All right, because I'm just pouring and pouring and pouring. I'm like, yeah. 
Is this when they hit you with the disclaimer? Like, not to be done at home at your own risk. Because my crazy self just like, yeah, keep on pouring. Oh, no, not on my care. Oh, Lord, help me. All right. Better this time. Nope. She doesn't learn. Yeah, because that's about right, Crystal. I feel pretty. All right, last time. Can't make no mishaps because this one is bleach. Poor table. Taking a beating today. Taking a beating today. That's all I'm gonna do guys. Don't want no ha mishaps with this bleach. Alright. It looks kind of thick, but it's supposed to be a spot cleaner, so you just spray it on the spot. All right, guys, so we are going to get into the reveal. So this is our top shelf. Get a little bit of light there. 